you see his face collapse. His face just like went in. His whole face went in. And uh, dude ended up having to wear this like uh, plastic mask, kind of, kind of like this, but it was transparent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hard. Yeah. And he had to have a bunch of reconstructive surgeries. Yeah. And my homie ended up paying like $85,000 in damages just for throwing a soda. So a $1 soda cost, he ended up doing like three years too. He ended up doing three years, even though he was 15, he got out when he was 18. So once he was an adult, they let him out. So they gave him the max they could, like as a juvenile for an assault charge. That was the most they could do. They can sentence you till you're 18, you know, till you're an adult yeah. for a simple juvenile assault life. charge. Juvenile life. Yeah, based, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Life, man. So, he got that, and I got house arrest, and I didn't even know what he was doing, man. He just said, grab the wheel, and I just grabbed yeah. it. You know what I'm that saying? Just, show, just because I was there. You. Yeah. You, man. Yeah, and that was the last time, you know what I'm saying, I lived, uh, I left, uh, you know what I'm saying, to live on my own after I got off the house arrest and stuff, because that just did it for me, man. I couldn't take that, you know what I'm saying, the house arrest, and yeah, man. It's, it's, it's a trip, man, getting in trouble, and then you just start. That's where it started for me, you know what I'm saying? It was downhill from there. That was my first, like, incident. With uh, actual, like, real real violence, 40, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I was about to be 13, and that was the first time I ever got involved with, like, police. And, and yeah, yeah it's crazy, man. Uh, I could have lost you. my freedom, too. So. It shows you, though, that, like, I remember I told you what I always tell my daughters, that one simple action can change the course of your whole life. You yes, know, it can. You, exactly. You know, exactly. That's, that's what I was trying to get at. And I think that's what you're always trying. I mean, that's what you always taught me as I see the show, and I always used to watch the show. I always learned it. And man, one single thing can change the whole course of your life, you know, and I hope people at home understand that that one action that you do can change your whole, your whole, your whole, your whole life. You know what I mean? And you'll never get it back. And, and that's what me and Shadow are trying to, trying to, trying to put out there is that the truth is that you don't have to live this life. You don't have to be, you know what I mean? You want to understand what the life is like. You're, if you're interested in knowing, we're telling you what it's like. I mean, yeah, there's drugs. Yeah, there's money. Yeah, there's women. Yeah, there's cars. You know what I mean? But at the end, look at me, man. I have nothing. I have I have nothing. I live a normal life now, you know, and it's hard for me to understand and live that life, you know, and, 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 and you know, not to get off subject or nothing, but that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get you people at home to understand that we're trying to change your life and we want you guys to do good, you know what I mean, with your life. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, so, I, you know what I'm saying? Would you, would you want to jump on here with one more story of your use yeah, before we cut more, this man. off for me? I got one more, man. This and this one's uh, this one's a uh, this one's a uh, this one has it's 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 not as as, as lengthy, but it, it's it's a little more detailed because it, it ended up happening it ended up happening um, right next to me, man. I I, I I got to see it like like how would you say evolve and grow into this into what happened. You know what I mean? You know, and, and I'll tell you like this, it, it happened in prison, man. So a, a guy was on the phone, and he was talking to his girlfriend. And uh, I don't want to say no names, and he was just talking to his girlfriend, man, and we'll call her Betty. And uh, Betty was a nice-looking girl. And um, little did we know to Betty, um, my celly, that was Betty's other boyfriend, too. So she had two Oh, boys. shit. So uh, one day we start passing around photos because we're all homies, you know what I mean? And, and um, we pass around photos of this and that, you know? And, um, you know, someone says, hey, man, this is my chick. Oh, man, she's fine. Other homies say, hey, man, she looks like my chick, man. So we start putting photos, blah, blah. we start looking at the letters. The writing is the same, but one's in printing, one's in handwriting. And we start putting it together. Oh, she was good, though, man. She had different phone numbers. Oh no! So Betty was good, hey Betty. She was organized. And you're watching this. <laughs> you're a good Betty. I like your style. <laughs> you're a good bag, but I like your style. Betty. <laughs> you know. Uh, but um, yeah. okay, bless her little heart. But anyways, um, <laughs> so homeboy and um, homeboy and them ended up fucking finding out they're doing the same girl. Uh, they start talking to each other and um, they start arguing, man. So, this story has a really sad ending. That's why I wanted to get at it, because it involves jail. They end up fighting in the day room, and they're getting them up, man. They look like two pit bulls in a dog fight, you know what I mean? And uh, they're fighting, man, and um, they get separated by the cops. The cops finally separate and send them to the hole. My celly doesn't come back. My neighbor ends up getting released from jail. I'm sitting in the day room watching TV, and um, I look at the news, and they say, oh, murder down in 
so and so and I'm like okay well I look at the TV and it's my neighbor uh, my neighbor ended up killing my old silly when he got out oh, of the street. Shit. Um, he ended up he ended up setting up my celly. My celly ended up going to visit Betty, and um, my neighbor was waiting for him in the bushes, and he ended up shooting him and killing him, man. And it was it it just to show you, man, that you can go to prison, you can go to jail, and you can get hurt for something that didn't even have anything really to do with your crime or what happened. And my celly and, and my neighbor, their life changed. And yeah, I that's... ended up seeing my neighbor uh, two months later back in the county jail. And I told him, man, hey, man, your life is over because of a girl, you know? And he was just like, I ruined my life and I, I killed somebody, you know? And I said, He yeah, knew it, man. yeah. After he did it, he knew it. Yeah, you know, and, and, and it was... Too and, late. And, you know, and, and not to, not to, you know make this too long like you know like i told shadow you know and not to cut myself short but you know that shows you again like shadow was saying and shadow brings up a good point that because of someone else you could lost your freedom you could lose your life you can lose you remember your friends who surround you can also cost you your life you know and very I true witness to that you know and like and i'll say it again to you at home i'm gonna say it again this life that I've lived is not something that I'm proud of. It's something that I live. It's just something that I want to get out there and make sure people don't understand that going to prison, being from here, doing this and doing that at the end will cost you your life and maybe even your freedom, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. Well, with that, man. Well, you might not be proud of your life, brother, but you should be proud of what you're doing right now. You're doing a good thing and getting it out there and you're a brave man for talking about this. And uh, I know for 100% this is going to get out there. It's going to affect a lot of people. This channel is getting out there. It's blowing up, man. And uh, Smash on that, man. If you guys like yeah, it. Yeah, smash on that like button. You guys know, know, show some love. I see a lot more views than I do likes, and that's a crime. That's a damn shame. And whoever is disliking the video, there's always one person that dislikes one. the damn videos. It's amazing. One. Isn't that amazing? It just breaks up that perfect 100%. He's a hater. So stop hating. Yeah, stop, stop hating. Shadow's <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. Life After Crime at gmail.com. Uh, if you guys want to get at me there too, I can forward the uh, stuff to Mr. Black. If you've got any questions for him, I'll forward him the message and, and he'll send it back to me and I'll get it back at you. Uh, maybe in the future, he'll even open up his own email for this channel where you guys can talk at him and get right at him. Yeah. So uh, you guys can get questions and a long time advice ago. or anything about that type of stuff or anything. I got you guys a YouTube channel know. now, guys. Uh, please stay out of that life. Stay out of drugs. You know what I'm saying? There's only two places you end up dead or in jail. And that's, that's a right. promise. Uh, I... I'd like to thank you, homie. You're very kind, and thank you for your time, homie, and, and your expertise. No, thank you, Shadow. Thank you, man. Thank you. That's what's up, homie. Uh, I'm going to cut this off right here, dog, and I'm, I'm probably going to put this up this afternoon. So, Okay. It'll be, it'll be up soon.